I was out in my garden today and as I was crossing a path, all of a sudden this snake come out, came out from underneath the rock. Cause you know, snakes kind of live under rocks. It's kind of where they make their home. Anyways, it was just so sad. I said, hey, Mr. Tastic, I'm so sad. I said, Snake, what, what's the matter? And it said, well, you see, I was in there and and my, my brothers and sisters, they weren't they weren't gonna share their food with me. And I said, Well, that's really sad. No wonder why you're no wonder why you're crying. And I said, Yeah, I said, and it said, Well, what what should I go say to them? And I said, Well, how about we go tell them why how it's making you feel that they're not sharing your their food with you. That it's making you feel really sad. And and now look at you, you're you're leaving your home. So I said, Snake, you gotta go back. You gotta go back, yo. You gotta go back and and uh, talk to your family and brothers and sisters and let them know how you really feel. And so it did. Anyways, the point of that story is that today in this episode, we're going to be creating a sad snake inspired by Snakey that I saw out in the garden. <laughs> so grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're going to be creating a sad snake. Grab your mark maker, whatever you want to draw with. That's your choice. Here we go, sad snake. I know, right? So sad. So sad. Poor snakey. Okay, at the bottom, we're gonna draw big. Whoa, that's great, guys. Let's get that one mixed up. I gotta put that in a different spot. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna draw a letter C. And then we're gonna drag that letter C in on either side, the top and bottom. We're gonna drag it across the page. And then we're gonna connect that end with a curve to make like a giant, look kind of like a hot dog actually. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna draw two more curving lines above it. Guess what? Connect. And then at the very top, we're just gonna draw a nice small little arch. Yeah. Okay. Above there, we're gonna draw the head. So we're gonna draw a nice curving line towards the top of our page. Two curving lines out and then connect them at the bottom, just like that. We're gonna work on the head. Connect the head, the little neck with, one, with two little curving lines, kind of taper it inward. And then we're gonna draw a tail, oops, peeking out from the back. While we're down here, we're gonna just add some shading with our hatching lines. That's the sound of hatching lines. Yeah. <laughs> okay, up here. We're going to draw letter U shapes and make them thick for the eyes. Then we're gonna draw our teardrops, kind of spraying out. Whoosh. We even have some come in front of the body, right? Yeah. There's a puddle somewhere on the ground if you have some space. Okay, draw a little nose and some nostrils. And a little sad mouth. All right, we're gonna give Snake some spots along the top of each coil. Oops. And 
And then along the bottom of each quail, I'm gonna draw another line, skipping over any teardrops, a much thinner line. And then I'm gonna add lines on that for the belly. That's kind of like pinky now. You know how they kind of have like a different little belly on the bottom? want some scale texture, you can go ahead and add some scales Just with some curvy lines. And then on the teardrops, we're going to draw some curvy triangles to make them look shiny. Okay, and once you're done, you can go ahead and color in your sad snake with your favorite colors.
once you're done, your sad snake is done.